Um, so hello everybody, how are you doing? I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to do today's video from the front room. For one reason alone really, I've got better lighting in here. Well, I'm trying it, because I know that when I do a camera, I know that when I do a video myself, the lighting can be a bit crap, so we'll see how we go. The story that I want to bring you today is about, she's called Elizabeth Ann Wilkinson. Now, she was originally born in Newton Heath. So not really an old subject, but it's close enough. She ended up, get, when she, she was born in 1882, um, beautiful woman. Uh, now, when she got married, she married a bloke called Samuel Wilkinson, which it was rumoured he was her cousin. But anyway, the, the pair of them set up home together and uh, they lived in Failsworth. That's where they moved to. He was a paper dealer. So I don't know if that's a news agent. Um... But anyway, scandalous story this one. So, I don't know, let's set the scene. 1910, she's living in Failsworth with her husband. Now, um, there's no children in the marriage. It's not noted how the marriage was getting on, but you would, you would, you would deduce from the fact that she ends up firing off on, on Titanic um, that maybe it wasn't a happy marriage. Now, she met this fella called Harry Bartram. Oh, I can never remember the last name. I'll have to put it in. It's called Harry anyway. It was a furniture dealer from up north. Uh, I think it was up Durham Way. And you, you can imagine he probably had a bit of travel to do. Anyway, he comes down. He meets Lizzie. Um, and the pair of them start having an affair. Um, so it's decided, anyway, they, they carry on with the refer and what have you, and it's decided that they decide together that they're going to start a new life somewhere. Now you can imagine, at that time, that scandalous, you know, um, copping off with a fella, especially a woman. Um, you know, fellas did it all the time, didn't they? And they just turned a blind eye, but for a woman to do it, um, and for it to be known, I, th I think was probably quite scandalous. So anyway, the pair of them decided that what they were going to do is get a ticket on the um, HMS Titanic. Um, now it cost him 26 quid for the pair of them to travel. They got a second class ticket and uh, they boarded at Southampton. Now when they got on, oh this is this is Bob, when they got on, um, they, um, shh, <laughs> when they got on, they told everybody that they were married and they were actually going to America um, to live, uh, and I think they said they were going to go to California for the um, uh, honeymoon, that's what they call it, innit? So they were playing up that they were this married couple, but they weren't, they eloped, and her husband was still in sales worth selling newspapers. Anyway, um, they got on the boat, got this beautiful cabin, um, you know, on second class, they had, they had a nice walk where they could go on, it wasn't first, but you know, whatever. Anyway, on April the 15th, uh, 1912 Titanic which was racing to New York to get there on time because Captain Smith he was um, he was retiring so he wanted to arrive in America to this big massive fanfare um, and basically they were fighting they were speeding along in, in this ocean in the Atlantic and they hit this iceberg so the iceberg ended up ripping a big massive hole in the side of the, the ship which was noted as an unsinkable ship but when it's got a big massive rip in the side and the bulkheads aren't full of ceiling and they get full of water and it whatever you know the story the ship gets taken down now lizzie said she woke up in shock you can assume from the from the from the from the whack of the ship against the iceberg now some people do say that it was nothing you know they didn't feel anything just a little bit of a shudder but maybe her cabin was near the impact if you know what i mean so she woke up in shock uh, I imagine Harry was probably with her and the pair of them made their way up onto the deck. Now, back then, it was women, children, and then men, if there was anything left. You know, the men were expected to die. The women, if they could get a seat, were expected to live. And obviously, the children were the most priority. So this officer on board says to Lizzie, get in, get in, the, uh, get in the boat. And she says, no. She looked at the boat and thought, no way, it's frickety, you know. Uh, I think I'll be safer here, even though it's sinking. The fella says, look, just get on the boat. So they grab hold of her, and they manhandle her, and they put her in. Now, I imagine she didn't want to leave Harry either. I imagine it wasn't a very nice scene. Um, and as her boat's lowering away, he's on deck, and, and they both know what's going to happen. 
So I think it took two hours for the ship to actually go down. Um, rumour has it that Captain Smith went and locked himself in his ready room um, and then obviously went, he went down with the ship, Captain always does. Um, so yeah, the ship went down. They were rescued by the Carpathia and they set sail to, to the dock. Now when they got there, all hell had let loose. You know, everyone wanted to know what was going on. There was interviews left, right and centre. Uh, Lizzie had a really bad time of it. Obviously she came away with it and her husband, or so everyone thought, he'd perished at sea. Now she went to spend um, some time with a cousin who actually lived in America. He lived in New York. He lived at 669. Brooklyn Avenue, which I've googled that, I can't find it. So I'm assuming that maybe now it's you know it's been replaced with high rises or something. But she went to stay with him and obviously to recover. Now she was there for six weeks, and in that time, they actually recovered Harry's body, and they gave it they gave it to Lizzie and said, "What do you want to do with it? You know, what to do with him? Should I say sorry?" Um, what you know? What do you want to do with him? So she ended up burying him outside, out in America. I think somewhere in Pennsylvania. Um, I've got a picture of his grave, which I'll put in. Um, and that was that. That that was Harry. Um, but that were at the end. So obviously she's now saying she's a widow. That her husband died at sea, um, and it's all White Star's fault. So White Star basically were being sued. I think they got sued to the tune of sixteen million, something like that. And I don't think that's 16 million of today's money, so a lot. Um, and, and the suing was coming from the people who had lost husbands and family through it, um, you know, and the husband back then, and, and majority of households was the breadwinner, you know, the wife was the housewife, you know that. So she ended up suing White Star and she sued him for £10,000. Now, it's not apparent whether she was successful, but one thing I do know is that she was caught out and uh, basically it came out that he wasn't her husband uh, that she wasn't a widow because actually her husband was back in Failsworth and yeah it was a absolutely shocking scandal but so obviously she could get the money for Harry I assume if she, if she got the money she had to give it back because if you think about it your husband's not dead your husband's in Failsworth um, so they wanted the money back or, they, or she didn't get the money um, and miraculously, her husband, Samuel, in Failsworth, um, he said he'd take her back. So she ended up coming back to Failsworth. Now I imagine she would have had to come back on a... I've got hair in my eye. I imagine she would have had to come back on a ship, so that would have been another trip across the Atlantic. I've done that trip across the Atlantic, actually went over where Titanic was, and went out on deck when we were passing. You don't go over the site because it's a graveyard, um, but you go around it. Let me tell you, it was freezing, it was dark, and that was in June, so April, May, so two months after, in terms of the seasons of the year, after, after they went down. So I can tell you now, it would have been ridiculously cold out there, and, and if I had gone into that water, it would have killed me as well, no doubt about that. Um, anyway, uh, I digressed on, as always. Um, she ended up coming back, her husband took her back, can you imagine, right? Can you imagine? She's involved in this massive scandal, this massive disaster, right? And on top of all that, it comes out to the neighbours and friends. You know, people talk. And it came out that, you know, she'd left her husband in Failsworth and gone off for this brand new life in America. And then obviously that had happened. Uh, and then she came back with what you would assume is a tail between her legs. I don't, to be honest, I don't know why she came back. It doesn't make any sense because she could have, I'm sure she could have made a life out there. But, I don't know, maybe, you know, she decided that was going to be the best thing and because she couldn't get that money for Harry, maybe, you know, I'm not, oh, the other thing I'd like to point out, I am not suggesting for one second that Lizzie was pu pulling a fast one because as far as she was concerned, she, when she got on that, on that boat, she was starting a new life with this Harry, so she should have got that money, you know, by today's standards, she would have got that money, I'm quite sure, um, so yeah, I'm assuming that's why she ended up coming back because maybe the stigma and everything else, I don't know. Um, but that's not the end of it. Um, you know how they've been sort of doing digs around Titanic and they've been bringing up plates and boots and various bits of jewellery and stuff like that. 
they've actually found a piece of her jewellery. Um, and I discovered this by looking online and there's a picture of her which is what I've used in the thumbnail. And a picture of this brooch, I'll put it in so you can have a look at it, it's beautiful, it looks like diamonds and I think there's, um, there's emeralds in there as well. Um, I can't remember because I'm not looking at it now. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of jewellery and that belonged to her. Um, and I think in the same dig they brought up about another three pieces. There's an article for it on the internet. I'll tell you what, I'll find it and I'll put it in the comments down, uh, in the, you know, in the thing image, in the description. Um, and you can have a look. Um, now this is obviously, this video is my take on the story. The actual story is written up on another website link, which I will definitely put in the description down below if you want to have a look at it. Um, and it's got links to Harry as well. Um, but yeah, I just I just thought a really good story to tell you um, in terms of you know the area that it came from. When Lizzie came back, by the way, sorry, I've got terrible heartburn. When Lizzie came back, um, I think it's rumoured that her and her husband got divorced. You know, um, and you can imagine it would be, wouldn't you? Really, because who's going to want to stay married after that? He knows that you don't like him, and you wanted to be with someone else, and you went to a new country in order to start a new life, and um, you know, and she just didn't want to be with him, full stop. Um, it'd be interesting to find out who she ended up with in the end, if anybody, and actually what happened to Lizzie, but I don't think we were able to sort of dig up any other information, and if she did get married to someone else, it's difficult to try and work out who she is, who she, who she married. Um, but I will keep looking, because I do have access to various different websites where you can find all that sort of stuff. So I will definitely look to do that. But um, I hope you don't mind it's not an actual out and about video. You know, my videos always are. It's not necessarily, you know, bang in the middle of Oldham. Um, but one of my lovely subscribers asked me to do some digging to see if there was anyone local who were involved in Titanic. And this was the story that I could find. And not only just the story that they obviously had, uh, you know, associations with it, a very interesting backstory to go with. So I hope that you like it. Um, I'll be doing some more videos this week, Oldham specific, we've got some great stuff coming up so please do subscribe if not already, uh, keep posted on the videos coming up and uh, thank you very much for watching.